Hi, I'm Vince Weston, and this is my final reveal of the 1941 Lincoln Continental by Monogram. Um, this is a kit I built in, <coughs> excuse me, uh, you, trying to use uh, similar to the box colors, even though I did paint it, um, which it kind of needed. Uh, one thing uh, that I, I was really surprised by was the engineering of this kit. It really was well done, uh, especially considering the I, the original molds are probably from 1964. I couldn't tell you if they've been updated or worked on or not by the time this release came out in 1994. I can't quite remember. Anyway, um, let's see. The uh, turns out it turned out really well. Once again, the, the engineering of it is it was done very well. Uh, easy to put together. Very few flaws. Um, actually, most of the flaws I think were self-inflicted. The one I did point out in the previous video was the steering column seemed to be a little bit too long. Uh, and it, uh, at least for me, it was. Uh, it probably would have been fine. Uh, I basically shaved less than a quarter of an inch off of it. And um, the only other thing I had that I found, well, the only other thing I found that that was kind of tough on it, here, I'll put the boot on for right now, so we can go cruising. Oops, if I can get it on there with one hand. There we go. Um, was the windshield frame here, big fat fingers, uh, was a little bit curved back, and I was hoping that the glass, the kit glass, would fix that. But uh, due to a self-induced problem, which I'll speak of in a moment, uh, I couldn't use the glass, and I did do a little heating of it and tried to straighten it up a little bit. I think it's it's pretty close. Uh, it's not perfect, but it'll do. Um, some of the self-inflicted uh, what uh, self-inflicted problems with the kit was major one of the, this is the one you'll notice it's a two-piece windshield not a one-piece windshield uh, like it's supposed to be uh, I was trying to black out around the edges uh, with a permanent marker and I had masked it with masking tape and some of the permanent marker got underneath so brilliant me quickly grabbing at something to try and clean it off I grabbed um, lacquer thinner, <laughs> and that was not really a great choice. Uh, I found out later I probably should have just used rubbing alcohol. That I think that seemed to take it off pretty well. Uh, so while I was trying to polish back the windshield, I split it in half. So that was gone. What I did was I used a piece of uh, acetate from uh, laser printing slides, and hopefully if I can get this, well, that's why it's a little dark there. Um, so it, it worked out pretty well. Uh, one of the, some of the details I did add were, and it's not coming out so well this time, um, is, uh, hmm, I'm really surprised. Anyway, uh, personalized license plate. Uh, this is a 1945, uh, New Jersey, <coughs> excuse me, license plate. Uh, I found on the internet a blank and made my own, um, which is VW, obvious. And 906, which is my wedding anniversary. Uh, one of the other things, let's see if I can get this 
in shot that I did on the exterior. If I can point and hold. New Jersey inspection sticker from the 40s. And over here on the other side is a gas um, rationing sticker, uh, which is the X sticker, which means uh, that you are excluded. Those were given to Congress and uh, the uh, VIPs. When I replaced the windshield, I also added uh, photo etched windshield wipers which I had to get make fit um, other than that it was uh, pretty smooth sailing with the kit as I've said before uh, there's the other side uh, you'll also notice there really is no door handles the 1940 Lincoln Continental used a push button system and underneath that's the door lock uh, so you would push the button in the door would pop open uh, and we can take a little lap around I know this looks like it's black but it actually is midnight blue which is a really dark dark blue This was my first attempt at hinging a hood. Oops, I keep bumping into things. Which seemed to work out pretty well for me. Uh, it stays by itself. I think that's possibly because of uh, the, the turtle shaped triangular hood. Uh, push, those, uh, push the arms of, of, of it in and seems to help keep it up on its own. One of the other things I did detail, and it's kind of hard to see in the, the video, I guess, since it's all dark in there, is the uh, horns. There's one here and one there. Uh, I drilled out the face of them to uh, give them a little bit more of a horn look and also I drilled out the uh, tailpipe okay so that's some of that um, let's see. Um, like I said the uh, I'll close this up now so I can tilt this back there we go um, the car body is, uh, I can't remember which brand I used, because they're both the same color. Uh, there's Anita's Midnight Blue, or Folk Art has a color called Midnight. That's the body color. The interior and uh, the roofs, um, tops, were done in this apple barrel. Uh, antique parchment and the in the dashboard which I believe I mentioned before uh, was original the, the one to one car it's mahogany and um, I used rusty red to get a pretty close approximation You can actually see um, up here in the top uh, to try and straighten out uh, this frame, the window frame, a little. I put in a piece of uh, rod, styrene rod, and I painted that to match the dashboard. I believe from the references I saw that that part would be the same color. So instead of leaving it white or painting it blue, I thought that you know add a little interest to it. Let's see, yeah, you, you can see that pretty well there. Uh, let's see, the, uh, I'll take that off so it doesn't fall off. Um, 
the underside uh, is mostly body color and as you can see that's the blue uh, this the cross uh, the, the frame is is done in uh, wrought iron which is a folk art color which I have sitting over there and then there's flat blacks uh, I used the platinum on uh, the exhaust system and actually uh, this is just regular the gas tank is done in regular old uh, enamel steel one of the few places I actually use the enamels on this kit very few places so uh, this was mostly a craft acrylics paint uh, system <laughs> I guess is as good a word as any. And let's see. If I can get in here just right. There we go. I guess that's pretty close. We'll do one more spin around. I'm pretty happy with what came out. I did have a lot of trouble with the hood. Uh, still having trouble with the hood. Uh, Self-inflicted. I don't know what I did differently in painting the hood versus the body since I did them both at the same time. But I, the future just I just didn't really work out real well. I, I keep getting spots in it, and I don't know if it's something on my fingers or what uh, seems to burn in there that doesn't seem to burn anywhere else. But it's it's okay. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I would like to have been a nice, perfectly clean build, but uh, I haven't reached that stage yet. I've never had a clean build yet. Uh, at least that I would consider a clean build. Uh, so, that's pretty much that. Um, here you can see... I'll move them up a little. Um, I've been working on my Punisher also. I guess I could bring him around here a little bit closer. Uh, I've got a lot more paint on him. Uh, I need to peel off the mask that I put on his chest for the, the white skull, which I'll get to shortly, and painting uh, the shoulder holster uh, the coat will eventually be uh, leather black, uh, and his hair will be black. I, I've still got quite a ways to go on him. Uh, and I want to get the the most of the body done because the arm crosses in front of his chest. So I'm holding off until I get most of this detail inside here completed so I don't have to reach around with a brush. So there's a mini update there on uh, my, my little buddy. Uh, more to come shortly, I'm sure. And uh, just a quick happy and wonderful new year to everybody while I'm spinning. And we'll uh, see how we all do in uh, 2015. So. Uh, I am counting this as a 2014 build since I finished it about midnight on the 31st. Uh, I wanted to, to get it done as a uh, 2014 build, so uh, that makes five I completed this year, which uh, a lot of that is in thanks to the uh, Yahoo modeling community. Uh, for inspiring me and moving me along and teaching me tips and tricks. So, thank you all. And uh, from now, I'll just say uh, have fun. And we'll talk to you in a little bit. Bye.